dumb but is here to entertain you. It is just so unfortunate that peace really cannot reign as far as the Amazulu royal family is concerned and of course we want peace to reign because we love them so much and they have to rule the entire Zulu nation with peace, justice and fairness and this time around Julius Malima can't stay short. In today's video, we are going to be giving you all the entire details as Julius Malema throws serious shade at Prince Simakade immediately after the coronation of King Misuzulu and of course several people don't take things so lightly. It feels like King Misuzulu has so many enemies around him, even his own bloodline, his own family members are against him. Do well to watch this video because it seems like the war is just getting started. Before giving you all the entire information, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. EFF leader Julius Malema does not mean his words at all when it comes to his support for King Misuzulu. He has genuine love for the king. The king was pre-coronated last week on Saturday after he successfully entered the crowd. King Misuzulu's pre-coronation, which attracted thousands of guests, came a week after Prince Simakade also entered the crowd. Prince Simakade believes that he is the rightful king of the Zulu nation. His ceremony only attracted a handful of his supporters and the media did not even pay attention to it. Malema says it was just a small brain. He said, and I quote, People who call small brains and of course, and then they say they are entering the crowd, Malema threw serious shade at Simakade. Malema says he only welcomes the Zulu king, Miss Zulu Casolettini. Anyone who had other thing after that coronation should be ashamed of themselves. King Misuzulu Kazwalatini is the only king of the Zulus. Julius Malema said, adding the rest will be kings in four ways. Malema further applauded the presence of foreign kings at King Misuzulu's pre-coronation. And I quote, it must also be noted that the presence of people of Zulu descent from nations such as Tanzania, Malawi, Eswatini, Congo and other various places in the continent confirms our long-held notions that Africans have always been one, Malema said. Unfortunately for Prince Simakade, Julius Malema is not with him at all and of course, he is wholeheartedly with King Misuzulu. But what is shocking to several people is simply the fact that when King Misuzulu actually appreciated President Cyril Maposa and gave him all the accolades for actually supporting him as the king of the Zulu people, several people trolled King Misuzulu on social media saying that he is not going to be forgiven for doing that because it's some sort of a betrayal, that he is trying to be a traitor given to the fact that they don't actually recognize, or should I say, the political party does not recognize Cyril Maposa. They want him down. But as a king, king of justice, a king of peace like King Misuzulu, he ought to do the right thing and what he did is definitely the right thing. Let's forget about all the hate, let's forget about all the jealousy and let's focus our energy on positivity. King Misuzulu is a man of a great and huge heart. I am with Malema on this one. King Misuzulu has been king since the day his mother was buried. All the other ceremonies you see are just a series of events and that is not about to change. The fight between Prince Makade and King Misuzulu Kazolatini for the throne makes you actually wonder whether the passing on of Regent Queen Matfomid Lamini Zulu, the wife of late King Gudru Zolatini, was a natural passing on or something else, but that's a story for another day. Meanwhile, Gulam has referred to Malima's presence as nothing but gossip press conference. They believe that he's actually using it as a minute of actually trying to get some fame. You all tell me what you think about all what is going on in the Zulu nation. I love you also dearly.